Well, welcome to Vintage Hiker Life. My name is Carla. Right now we are staying in a beautiful area and if you want to go ahead and pan around the scenery, we are at a campground called the Gary Springs Campground in between Las Cruces and White Sands. And this campground is $7 a night. It's awesome. We actually have a very nice campsite with a great view. It's getting close to sunset right now here in New Mexico. So I told you that I would do an update on my camper build with my 23 Subaru Four Star Wilderness. And this tent here is by a manufacturer called Napier. It is the sports to go dome tent. It's made to attach to uh, your hatch. And you can see that we have it pulled up over the hatch as well as it comes with these straps that can anchor on into the tires. So this is really good. It's been a little windy here. So we've put our stakes in and also used some rocks to help to stabilize the tent. And so now follow me, come along. We're gonna come inside the tent. So you can check out the space here. So we have, I have the screen open to get some ventilation. This tent comes, the most recent tent comes with a net that you can attach to the hooks up here, it has an opening, and I have my little cranked uh, LED um, lantern to help us at nighttime, but it's nice to have this little extra uh, for like lightweight items to store. And it does come with this attachment as well and the lantern is mine, uh, and just added on to have some nice light at nighttime. You can see that it seals up around the hatch and also around the bottom here as well. And again, this is our camper build by Venture House and they're located in Evergreen, Colorado. I am not getting paid for this promotion. I want to let people know that you can have an awesome camping set up in a smaller vehicle. And also some people were commenting about the space, the height in here. So I got a tape measure and wanted to show you that this air mattress, I would say it's probably a couple inches. But if I put this on top and come all the way up here, I am looking at close to 19 inches of space. And this is the low part of my car. And then it opens up to the moon roof so actually you get probably another inch inch and a half um but having this padding and then the sleeping bag and it's plenty of room i'm five foot three so i fit great in here my partner is six foot tall and also fits well in here so i just want to show you that it's not as tight as probably what some people are thinking and again the space even with my gear will give me about like i said close to 19 inches of space and so i just wanted to to go ahead and and okay tell me what you want me to say i'm going to cut this out what, what's the build you show, show the build height too okay the build height is looks like about one foot yep yep in this space so one foot and then the rest is for your pad your sleeping bag and of course your body um, but again we have the moon roof so at nighttime we can open that up uh weather permitting to go ahead and <laughs> make sure i'm on the screen there you are okay you're, you're, okay you're. okay <laughs> so actually this works out really well so if you're looking for a small uh camper build the tent gives us the space to get out at night, say if we wanna go ahead and get dressed, we're not cramped into a small space. So this tent really works well. This is my second uh, Napier Sports Dome to go. If you want to just come right down here, here is the packaging for this tent. And I bought it off Amazon. This is my second Sports Dome to go. I bought one back in early 2000s and I ended up selling that because I was out of uh, camping for a while and I did the van life for a little bit but now I'm back into the camping and also having a smaller more fuel efficient vehicle if you have any questions please uh, let me know comment and if you like what I'm showing you so far like and subscribe and thank you oh and notifications as well <laughs> thank you so much for watching 
have a wonderful evening.